wasting time on slow manual updates in Salesforce. What if I told you that you could edit, update and manage all your Salesforce data right from Excel? If you are a Salesforce admin, developer or business user, this tool will change the way you work. It is called Excel Connector by Zapix. And in this video, I will show you what it does, why you need it and how to install it in a just few minutes. And this is just the beginning. In my next videos, I will show you how to use Excel Connector for bulk updates, managing permissions, validation rules and more. So stay tuned. So what exactly is Excel Connector? In simple words, it's a tool that connects Excel directly to Salesforce. It lets you pull Salesforce data into Excel, edit multiple records at once and update them in Salesforce, run SQL queries directly in Excel, automate reports and refresh the data without logging into Salesforce. Think of it as a smart bridge between Salesforce and Excel, saving you hours of work. Let's talk about why this tool is a must have. Are you manually editing fields one by one? With Excel Connector, you can create or update multiple fields at once. You are finding it hard to change object permission? With the Excel Connector, you can modify multiple profiles, object and field security in a single spreadsheet. You have a need to update validation rules, but hate doing it one by one? Now you can create, edit and manage rules in bulk. This tool is just the start. In my next videos, I am going to cover these many topics that you can see on the screen. If you struggle with any of them, make sure you don't miss the next videos. Now, who will benefit the most from these tools? Salesforce admins, developers, sales and ops teams, and business analysts. Basically, if you work with Salesforce data, this tool will save your time. Now, let's see a quick demo how you can install Excel Connector in your system. So, in order to install Excel Connector, we need to visit their official website that is zapex.com and simply hit enter. You will see a try it free button over there. Click on it and then you will see Excel connector over there. Click on it again. Once you click on it, you will see this particular page and over there you will see a button called download Excel connector. Simply click on this button as I already downloaded it. So you can see into my download history. Now I'll simply click on this Excel connector installer and it will ask me to install some prerequisite softwares that it requires for a smooth running process. So I will simply click on install, then it will ask me the permission to install it. And now I need to wait for some time. So now it will start downloading it. So I'm just waiting for it. So once this is installed, what you need to do, you simply need to check these checkboxes and click on install. Once this is done, you will see this kind of window. I will simply click on finish. So as you can see, it is basically preparing to install. So now let me just click on next. I accept the terms, click next and install. Let me just click on finish. Now I will again open the Excel and let me open a blank workbook. So once the Excel connector is installed, so here you can see a new tab that is called Excel connector. Let me click on it. And here you will see a login button. So here you have two options, either you want to log in with security token or you want to log in with web and SSO login. So I'm going to select the second option. So now here you can see whether you want to connect your production or sandbox, right? Based on that, you can provide your credentials over here. Here you need to provide the Salesforce credential. And once you are done, you simply able to get your features over there. So now I'm going to log in in production with my credential. So let me just type my credential over there. I need to click on allow and you can simply see the username and the name of the user. And once you are good, you will see a lot of options over there that we are going to discuss into the next video. If this tool sounds useful, go ahead and give it a try. And this is just the beginning. In my next videos, I will show you how to use Excel Connector to mass update Salesforce fields, permission, validation rules, and even metadata. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. I will see you in the next video. Keep automating, keep growing. Thank you.